Grilling is one method that adds flavor rather than takes away flavor. Think about, okay, boiling, I mean, takes away flavor. Yeah. Baking in the oven, sort of flavor neutral. Grilling adds flavor. It adds flavor by caramelizing meat proteins or vegetable plant sugars. Do you have a preference for a particular kind of wood? Um, I use a variety of woods. Um, you're talking about for the fuel or for the smoke? Well, um, let, let's talk about both because I think that's a very important distinction, using wood for grilling as opposed to using wood for smoking. Yeah. Let's talk about smoking. for the Well, for smoking, of course, you know, the, the maintaining of the temperature is so important. So I actually like to use briquettes mm -hmm. as my base. Okay. Um, I prefer natural briquettes. Yeah, as um, opposed to lump charcoal. Yeah, I will mm -hmm. use lump charcoal sometimes to feed the fire a little mm -hmm. bit, but typically I, I start with a bed of natural briquettes um, and then I add wood basically according to what I'm going to cook. Mm -hmm. um, I personally really like apple, mm -hmm. um, cherry, mm -hmm. um, oak, and hickory. I think probably oak I use the most often because it's the most readily available mm -hmm. and it just has a an all-around great flavor. You know? Okay, in mm -hmm. our field, right, I'm not going to ask you, you're not going to ask me, you know, the, the great debate, uh, uh -huh. gas versus charcoal. Well, for me, it's neither, it's wood. Uh, yeah. Because I think when you grill over wood, you're both getting the heat from burning wood and the smoke from burning wood, but it's a different smoke flavor than smoking. Smoking with charcoal, very intense smoke flavor in the American tradition, the tradition of true barbecue. Grilling over wood, much lighter flavor, great for uh, a veal chop or you know we live on Martha's Vineyard part of the year so we get uh, harpoon swordfish Ooh. over an oak fire I mean yeah. it's you know the, yeah, like the, I was talking about where that is now the epitome of fine dining yeah. that was one of the things that I really learned to appreciate when I wrote a book just on charcoal Weber's mm -hmm. charcoal grilling mm -hmm. and I came to understand charcoal almost as an ingredient or, mm. or wood in, mm. in, in your case um, you know, it can flavor the food as much as any seasoning or, or sauce or marinade. It really permeates the food mm -hmm. if you let it um, in a very simple way. I mean, there's not a lot of work involved. You don't have to buy a lot of ingredients. So I've always loved that, that mm. smoke. It's not like an oven where you turn it on and it performs the same way every time. Every fire is different. Yeah. Every grilling event is different. Your goal is to get to the same result using circumstances, heat, fire, radiation that are always yeah. different. And that's a lot of the draw. I and think. that's, I that's think, the I fun. think there are people who prefer the gas because of the predictability mm -hmm. and the consistency, mm -hmm. and then the people who prefer the charcoal because there is a little bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. And you know that every day is going to be different, every fire is going to be different. Um, but when you get good at that, it's, it's, it's gratifying.